shorten the line out and win the line out. And so, this time the box kick works. And then, can he judge that one correctly? It is a slight blustery win coming and going. Yeah, it was a terrific kick from the young number nine and just gave himself an extra yard to get the, the kick away. But Brian shouldn't really have let it bounce. He's never going to make the same mistake twice, has he? Made sure that time with his scrum half to bring him down. Dorian. He's shot through the tackle of Purdy. Here's Bedford. It's Howard. Ever closer to that line, it's Walsh now. Bedford dive and they score. And it's Ben and Dahl. And they do have the first try of the evening. When you get your chance, you've got to take it. And that's exactly what Bedford did there. Tremendous running and kept the ball alive. And just broke the defence to such an extent that you can struggle to be players around the breakdown. And then Dahl going in for the try. But the damage was done by the fly half Dorian. A great offload. And here we see good composure. The big Mike Howard just kept the ball. And just nobody... Nobody at home. Dorian again, though, right through the middle, wasn't it? Well, it just shows you how comfortable you know, these players are on the ball. On most occasions, look at this now. Was it a forward pass? See the line on the pitch? And I think that that is sort of maybe half yard. The distance has sort of drifted forward, but it was right in front of the touch judge. Good view of it, let it go. And Bedford, they rode their luck. Came away. And it's the young man, Howard Ben and Dahl. For them to be a 24 year old from Oakham School. And here's the five pointer. 11 to 6 the score now. Well, the youngster has scored the try. They'll be looking for the experience now to convert it and get those two extra points, which you know, might be vital at the end of this game. Kick. Look at Mike Reyes. Sort of just in the squad, the youth on the experience. Ed Grower seeing the space come out wide and then finished off by the youngster. The scrum half. And he's right to be delighted. And for all the skillful play, what you're also seeing around the ball are blue bodies. You know, there's real hunger and work rate from their players. Everybody in support trying to help out, whether it's the offload, whether it's hitting the rucks. Certainly they've worked very, very hard and very well for each other. Just uh, Anui back on his feet. Good to see him play for a while. Gibson, the man on the yard on the bench. Well, I think Phil Greening and Mike Friday beside him there might have an edge of concern because their pack in particular have been pinned back deep in their 22. Bedford have played the territory, but they've also kept true to their principles. They've counter-attacked when it's been on. Two halfbacks instrumental in that try, weren't they? Dorian, there is Dorian again. Right through the middle. 